Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here and today I have come with a very amazing problem on surface tension. It is surface tension and infinite plate. So here is the problem uh, statement. I have discussed this uh, problem very recently in uh, one of my classes. So a long plate of width L. So this is the width L and this is how this infinite plate is present. Uh, is brought into contact with the liquid surface then the plate begin to rise so with the help of an external agent we are lifting it up how does the force acting per unit length of the plate depend on the height x x is from water level whatever rise uh, it will have liquid density is given surface tension sigma is given and mass per unit uh, length of the plate lambda is given to us all right so these are the parameters which are uh, given to us so it's a very nice application of uh, the surface tension concept and a similar type of applications uh, have come at multiple places uh, like in coaching test in JE also recently as recent as uh, 2020. So let's see here. So as this uh, plate is uh, lifted uh, upwards with the help of external agent you will find that uh, due to surface tension liquid start uh, lifting up with the plate and it will have a shape like this something like this right and let's assume the symmetry here in this problem so what i am doing is i am drawing the external this extra part of the liquid because it is in a balanced condition so definitely force must be uh, balanced on it so here you can see <coughs> far away from this uh, plate uh, point liquid is uh, horizontal and that is like very famous aquarium problem uh, situation so here this remaining liquid which will be in uh, this part this liquid will attract it with the force of t into l and showing you the sideways and similarly here pressure is p naught so in this horizontal level everywhere this pressure is p naught and then pressure starts decreasing as we move up as we are moving up pressure start decreasing so here pressure at this uh, point where it is in contact with the plate it will become p naught minus x rho j all right now plate will be pulling this uh, part pulling this liquid upward along the surface so uh, let's say here it makes an angle of theta so t into l remember in this entire length this force is acting so t into l is this force atmospheric pressure p naught into this projected area will be the force here and uh, this part when linear variation is given directly we can write directly we can write as uh, average pressure into cross section area pressure at top and pressure at bottom if you add divided by 2 you will get the average pressure value or you can just directly use the shortcut uh, on this part pressure at uh, center of uh, mass here midpoint into area any logic which you are comfortable with you can apply lot of uh, short tricks i have discussed in this topic in my live lectures so you can find this uh, here so p average into area directly we can know now this part is in equilibrium let's balance these uh, forces so t into l plus uh, this force is equal to tl sine theta plus p naught xl so this p naught xl gets cancelled and from here sine theta value is known to us which is uh, 1 minus rho g x square by 2t where t is the surface tension all right after this we can draw the fbd of uh, plate all right fbd of plate so this is the agent force and atmospheric pressure uh, p naught into plate area similarly here we know the pressure at this entire level which is p naught minus x rho g so p naught minus x rho g into uh, area of the plate then weight mg of this and surface tension force action reaction pair which is here at an angle of theta now when we balance these forces you can see here we are getting this uh, f expression like this and we have to find force per unit length so i am getting rho g xl 2t cos theta plus lambda g now cos theta value i can calculate using sin theta as sin theta is known to us so just substitute here and when you simplify this we are going to get this as the answer which is lambda g plus rho g x times l times root of 4t by rho g minus x square and this is going to be the 
final answer for this uh, problem guys as you most of you are aware of uh, unacademy 45 day plus subscription it is just uh, at 299 rupees and uh, you know things cannot be cheaper than this but it is valid only up till uh, april uh, 23rd uh, till uh, 30th so very few days are there and you can access entire uh, uh, unacademy platform for all three subjects you can access all my courses as well and you'll find those courses as most amazing courses in physics and it will change your uh, understanding learning completely and uh, you can use my code uh, nitin sir in order to connect with me so that's it guys i hope you have enjoyed this problem and uh, because uh, normally in books this kind of application is not given so i thought i'll take it up so that's it in this video i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing video thank you thanks for watching it